Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here. I'm at the Leadbetter Indoor Academy Bangkok. And I've been asked a question about golf balls and the layering of golf balls. So why are some balls only constructed with like two layers where other balls have like up to five? So like if you look at the premium balls like TaylorMade TP5, five layers. Uh, the Chrome Soft that I use, four layers. Pro V1, three layers. Then you go into maybe the cheaper balls, then they'll tend to only have two layers. Like, why is that? And does the layering, A, make a difference, and could it make a difference to your performance? And it, it is, the, the layering does have a big effect, and it's the layering that allows a single golf ball to perform very differently when hit in different areas on the golf course. Think about it. With the driver, we want a contact, we want a ball that's going to go far. We want the ball leaving quickly, low spin. If we can get low spin, nice high launch, we're going to hit the ball as far as we possibly can hit it. If we then go to the wedge, all of the things I've just said don't really apply. You never, you never stand up to your wedge and think, oh, God, I hope I hit this one really far. Because the wedge, we want more spin, we want more control, more consistency, because we want to hit that yardage and get the ball stopping quickly on the green. So the ball itself, how is it doing both? And it's the layering. So each layer is made of a different material. If we think about the driver, very square contact. You might be hitting slightly up on it or slightly down, but a relatively square contact. The energy from that driver face is going to be imparted into the middle of the ball. In the middle of the ball, there's going to be a hard layer. This hard material is going to, A, increase the ball speed. It's going to give you good ball speed, and it's also going to try and reduce the spin. This is great for the driver. We then go to the wedge, and like I've said, that's not really what we want from the wedge, but think about the delivery. Far more down, the angle of attack is down. It makes it more of a glancing blow, and the contact is now not going through the center of the ball, it's more on the outer edge. So if you've got a material that's a lot softer, that's going to allow for more spin. So where the energy is being imparted with the wedge, it's going to be softer, more spin, so we get what we need from the wedge. And that is what basically allows a ball to perform optimally in lots of different areas that have very differing needs. Why do some manufacturers have five, some have three? That probably comes down to their R&D department. They'll probably feel like one layer can satisfy the needs of both a wedge and a mid-iron. Another manufacturer might think they need two layers because one layer is going to perform better for the wedges, the other one's going to perform better for the mid-irons. The cover sometimes gets far too much credit for changing the spin. Yes, a premium ball is going to have a urethane cover, a softer cover. It will really help its feel. And feel is important because it can add to your confidence, but it's not the cover that's going to be making these massive changes. That's coming down more to the layers, and it's the layers that, like I say, can really make a ball seem like it's a magic thing. It's why the manufacturers can promise all these different things that are actually quite contradictory. And it's the layers that are allowing that to happen. Do mean, I hope this has helped. Do mean, get some comments down below. Are you somebody that's um, just moved into a premium ball and seen massive improvements? Are you somebody that may be new to the game and they're actually finding the distance ball satisfies their needs just fine? Love to hear what you've got to say. Hope to catch you soon.